Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, live in Technicolor from Falcon Lake State Park, Texas, near the Texas-Mexico border. On a breezy day, got a little norther coming in today. Winds out of the north about 20 miles an hour, and but it's not that cold. Hey, Google, what's the temperature at Falcon Lake, Texas? The temperature in Falcon Lake Estates right now is 61 degrees. With a high of 75, a low of 46, and sun shining. Not bad. And uh, anyway, I'm still alive in my 2021 Thor 4 Winds 22E Class C motorhome, commonly known as a Class C dub. Like it, like it, like it. To been a long time, full time RV, or this is probably my seventh or so RV. I had a lot of them. Anyway, this is, this is a good one. I like motorhomes. They work for me. And uh, anyway, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. It is right now. And right now just went by. So if there's anything you want to do, you had better be doing it. So with that in mind, what else we got here? Uh, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 28 degrees. With a high Due to current wind conditions, it <laughs> feels like it's 21. With a high of 36 and a 20% chance of something. Anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte, it's currently 4 degrees. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 6. That's pretty chilly, isn't it? Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? In Fairbanks, it's currently minus 19 degrees. Ooh -wee. With a high of minus 10. Good gosh. Man, how would you like to be there? Not me. Not me, guys. But anyway, this is all my gang back here. All my buddies. And, uh, hey, Google. Tell us a joke. Why did the ninja get banned from the movie set? For throwing stars. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's too, there's about a lot of long jokes. Not too many. Here's one. If I haven't read it before. Uh, a man lay spread out over three seats in the second row of a movie theater. As he lay there breathing heavily, an usher came over and said, That's very rude of you, sir, taking up three seats. Didn't you learn any manners? Where did you come from? The man looked up helplessly and said, The balcony? Okay, that's a biggie. <laughs> Anyway, what else? Uh, oh, the thing. This right here. We got. We hadn't. We didn't do it yesterday. The quote button. See what we got. Warning: Dates on calendar are closer than they appear. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Anyway, I got to get my computer going here. Whenever you don't use it for ten seconds or so, it cuts off. But anyway, let's do some comments here. What am I going to do for a lunchtime video? Uh, I don't know. I've still got one driving video. I think I've got a triking video. And I think I've got one about, you know, like what is an RV really? And uh, I'll pick one of those and do it. I'm going to take a driving trip today into Roma just to take a little ride and see what's going on. Uh, but anyway, Ralph P. says, We have bear-proof trash cans at all state parks in North Florida. I guess no worries where you are, where you're camping. Nope, none here. No, no bear here. If there are, they're, they're, they're not, they're not robbing trash cans. Anyway, Ralph P. Nice long, nice trike ride along. I prefer state and national parks over RV parks. Just me. The goat comes along. LOL. Here is the goat from outer space. Got you a goat kiss, and this is the goat shirt somebody sent me the goat whisperer shirt <clears throat> perfect shirt for this morning i'll put it on under my jacket and put on an extra pair of jogging pants and away i go for my hour walk or about but anyway what else we got here i'm an elder thumbs up to you uh this is a tracker of bad boys says i like class sita me too i like it too uh Tim sounds like a small fan to cool things off. Yeah, it works perfectly. It's a good fan. I mean, uh, th that that uh, 
so that company makes about five different brands that are identical to that fan. I left a link to one in the description of that video. Scotty Thompson says, cool video talk, cool video talk. You going to travel to Arizona? Cool comment called. No, I'm not going to be traveling to Arizona, I don't think, Scotty, but thank you for your comments. The mass bowler from Wisconsin, thank you very much. MOM, basic life skills, haven't stopped in for a while, so glad I did. It's snowing and cold in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm still looking at Lynn, Texas. Do you know anything about the area in northwest Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas border? And the answer to that is, very little, but uh, yeah, you can do a truly a deal and, or I don't know what the other one is, and uh, check them out. Yeah, I know it's, uh, you can buy some land out there in the middle of nowhere, which is cheap, and you get what you pay for. Nothing. I mean, <laughs> no water, no nothing. Anyway, good luck with that search. I've been there. Moya King, uh, this is on the, uh, what? Oh, the fan. I have one which is metal, copper, with metal blades. It looks awesome, but it is really noisy when it's on full speed. Now, the one thing good about this one, this is all plastic, except for the frame. It's metal. And, uh, yeah, it's very, very quiet. I like that fan. Boondocking with Dennis. Still binge watching. Well, thank you, Dennis. I'm glad you're doing that. That's cruel and unusual punishment, but somebody's got to do it. And Boondocking with Dennis has a YouTube channel called Boondocking with Dennis. Unique enough. And check it out. Uh, this is CDL8054. What happened to all your great Max Air vents? I've got one. I had one installed. Thank you. Hillbilly Musings. I liketh the video, sir. Nice tips on budgeting. Ride safe. Well, you know, for those that are just starting out, some of that might help. I don't know. And just like the video I may do today on, on what is an RV, it's just to help those that are starting out. I mean, there's so many things I didn't know and had no way of learning, really, because we didn't have the Internet when I started if you can imagine that, and no smartphones either. You know, no Google directions, no nothing. Uh, this is NB. Hi, Rusty. It's nice to hear that you're having nice weather here in El Paso, Texas. We woke up with snow, so it's been very cold with off and on snow all day with lots of strong winds. Enjoy fan. Oh, nice fan. Enjoy. Take care. Yeah, they had some terrible weather out in, uh, you know, in Arizona, New Mexico, and places. I mean, some of the interstates were basically shut down. I looked at some videos that were recommended. Man, I mean, there were stretches of highways where, or highway, or interstates where the cars were lined up for miles, miles. Anyway, Ray Jensen, swivel, swivel, swivel. Thank you, Ray. Haven't done that in a while. That's from the Casita video. Two Triple J, USB fan, O Polar, clip fan last a minute anyway whatever yeah whatever you, you I, i'm not saying you need to buy it i'm just saying that a, an oscillating fan comes in handy in a small space to just keep the air moving this is paul merusi tea has caffeine very astute observation paul yeah all tea has caffeine and so does all coffee even the ones that say decaffeinated there's still some caffeine true guardian pet care and massage gym on uh, the class, the, the fans is nice addition. The diamond gets shiner all the time. Hope your day is enjoyable, Rusty. Hope yours is too, Jim. Enjoy your day out with your dogs. He's got four dogs, and he is living in a van, traveling in the U.S. and it's full time. RV living with the geezer. Good morning, Rusty. A lot of, also a lot of RV parks meter the electricity for monthly tenants. This can be a big chunk out of the budget depending on the climate. Can be. Uh, I mean, my the highest utility bill I've ever had in an RV park is 35 bucks. But, you know, the one I'm at now, they don't charge for electricity, and that's why I'm considering I go off and on on whether I want to keep that spot year-round. And I'm probably going to end up keeping it year-round, just eat the additional expense, because it is nice to have a home base, and uh, that way it gives me a spot where I can get my mail, which is not a big deal, but uh, it just makes it a home. Uh, DJ Davison, hi Rusty, the Class C seems like the perfect rig, size rig for one or two people and makes a nice home. Maybe the Havilinas are practicing social distancing. Yeah, that's sure that's what it is. I, maybe that's where we got it from. You know, two, yeah, two people could live here comfortably, sure. Yeah, this, there's plenty of room here. So with that in mind, Amish Sailor on the fan thing. Hey Rusty, looks like you're 
looks like you're filling up your class C, I think you're going to have to start looking for the next size up. No, I mean, no, an oscillating fan didn't fill it up. No, the, the stuff you see up there where, where the fan is, that's stuff that I normally would have in the outside storage, but it's just so, th these are things I use periodically, like the uh, Instant Pot, and when I'm in an area checking my mail, I've got the uh, the Bucket of Honor there, and i got my, my hat that I wear when I'm out in the sun. So no, it, 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 uh, it, is, it looks cluttered, but there's hardly anything up there, I mean, really, but it's okay. I mean, I don't have much stuff, guys. Uh, Eli James, James, thanks for all the great comments and stay safe. And I love your Class C. Nice job. Thank you, Eli or Eli. Uh, Outcast 1, Rusty, maybe put a small towel or foam rubber under the base of the fan so the material on the cushion don't get worn or holes in it. Uh, I, I don't really care about that, to tell you the truth, Outcast 1. It, it, it doesn't move, so it's not going to hurt it. But no, that, that's a good point and a good good tip. Thank you. Martha Odom, having a screen door would help also. Uh, no, the screen door is fired. No, once I fire something, it's gone. No, I don't need that screen door at all. You know, the front windows roll down, you know, in the cab, you know, if I need that. But no, it's, no, it's fine, man. You know, you, you, I got plenty of windows. You know, this big window on the side here slides. You know, that thing is, you know, it's huge. You know, Cajun Jameis. Did you see what happened at Q, I, I don't know, QAZ? It was not from an oscillating fan. I don't know, Cajun Jameis. Uh, Pamela Ken, what big city is what big city is this close to? Nice video. I guess the biggest city in the area would be Laredo, north about, ooh, wow, uh, probably 70 miles to Laredo, maybe 80 miles. And then uh, going south, you've got Rio Grande City, which is about, I can't remember, 10,000 or so. And then Pamela Chandler says, Great Rig, Rusty. Thanks for the ride. Track Man, well, you're very welcome. Yeah, I enjoy it. I take, I take two track rides every day when the weather's nice like it has been. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. I got like 430 miles on my trike. Uh, Ethel Perry, thumbs up to you. Sheila Bundren. They have slender... Tower, tabletop fans too. I have one in my bathroom. Yes, I can't live without my fans year-round. Good find. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, you know, a lot of people just don't think about uh, oscillating fans uh, inside their RV. They use the fan on the the air conditioner, and it's it's not that bad, but it is a little. It's noisier than an oscillating fan. Adventuring art, trike man triketh, goat man goateth. Fun triking video today, sir. Thanks for the trip. Sure, you're welcome. Adventuring art. <laughs> uh, Al Fur, thumbs up from Rose Sharon, Texas, USA. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Rose Sharon, Texas? The temperature in Rose Sharon right now is 56 degrees. Not bad, but the high 70. Nice, nice day. Mike Wood, Augusta, Georgia. I use Google Maps, even it, even if I know the way, it'll tell you about traffic jams and stuff. The unnecessary on the CB, unnecessary chatter on the CB is annoying. Yeah, I I don't know that I'll get a CB. I know I know a lot of people have them. I mean, I I had one, you know, when the CB craze hit the USA, and uh, it was cute. Proud Texan, Rusty, you could also use your Max Air fan with the oscillating fan for superior circulation. Yeah, it's true because the the Max Air fan will bring air in or pull air out. So, yeah, I could do either way. Boondocking with Dennis, very relaxing talk and tour. Thank you, sir. You are very welcome, Boondocking with Dennis. Paul S., that's quite a nice state park. Lots of varied facilities. Yeah, it's it's a it's an interesting place. It's a South Texas brush country, flat. You know, it's uh, what it is, right on the border, right on, right on the Rio Grande. Boondocking Charlie, have a little fan right next to the bed. Saves me when it's not too humid. Yeah, that's the key, too. Yeah, and I have to say this. My dehumidifier works. I dumped about a quart of water out of it yesterday. Yeah, so, no, it uh, it helps a lot. The humidity inside the RV right now shows to be 55%, which in the mornings is when the humidity is the highest, which is good. Sandra Newcomer, now we know Tuesday showers. Okay. Cajun Jameis, uh, good one. Thank you. Carrie Joe, thought you... Oh, this is on oh, the fan. Thought you had one already, Rusty. 
keeps the flies and mosquitoes away too when you're sitting outside. Yeah, that's a good point. And let me say this, yeah, it uh, at uh, what's the name of it? Uh, at Valley of Fires, BLM near Carrizozo, New Mexico, when the wind is calm, which is not often the gnats will drive you crazy. And yeah, an oscillating fan will keep them away because you only need about three miles an hour, four miles an hour to get the gnats away. Anyway, thank you, Carrie Joe. Uh, Slack Pack Hiker, love that fan. Thank you. Actually, it's a Polonus. He called it a Felonius. Very good, Slack. Uh, anyway, Ken Price or Priest. Rusty, that's, that's on the tracking. That's very impressive that you can park all four wheels of your class C back on the same four leveling blocks that you had left in place. You can really thread the needle with your class C. Also, are you going to put that white seat cover back on your trike seat again? Yeah, I did. It got damp. It, we had a heavy dew and it was damp, so I just left it in the sunlight. LD, Rusty, I used to enjoy watching, but now you're a weather channel? Oh, okay. Well, I'll take care of that for you, LD. You won't ever watch again. <laughs> Ain't no problem, boy. <laughs> I mean, here you go, Matilda. He doesn't. He doesn't like the weather. Okay, so here you go, Matilda. Waffles today. We got waffles and maple syrup. Uh, this is on the uh, storage building. It says, does it have any cedar? Uh, yeah, I think it does. WTBM one two three on the tracking stuff. Cool boondocking with Dennis on the fan. Nice upgrade, Deb. Awesome. Terry Murphy, this is on making the class C my home. That would work really good with a screen door. Yeah, it would if I wanted to put one there. No, what I'm going to do if I do anything uh, for a screen door, I'm going to just buy one that comes with the magnets, you know, that are taped on, and then you just it it just it's just a uh, like a fabric, you know what I mean? But I I'll, I may order one when I get back. But no, that'll be my screen door. No, I'm not going to put that noisy thing back on there. My God. Uh, old broad my oscillating fan in the camper is a must. I hear you, babe. Taz mod high track man. It is in the mid 30s and snow flurries and spots between Eugene and Salem, Oregon. Well, that's not where I want to be. Uh, let's go down here to get get get. Let's see, Guillermo, Guillermo. That's Guillermo de Simon. Nice town, a very quiet place. Greetings from Spain. Well, good e uh, greetings to you, Guillermo. I I'm hoping that it's G-U-I-L-L-E-R-M-O. Guillermo, I think. Guillermo, is that correct? Anyway, thank you for your comment. Hello to you in Spain from people in Texas, USA. WTBM123, cool. Taz Mod. Hi, Rusty. That is a good idea. I remember some old trucks and cars. Had a little dash fan. Yeah, I remember those too. I don't know that we ever had one, but I remember I remember seeing them. Adventuring art, very smart idea. That diamond of yours is looking brighter and brighter now that you secured your Pelonis. Uh, very nice, my friend. No, yeah, I don't have to move it. You know, like I'm going to take a trip today and I just drive off. Everything everything stays in place really good, and that makes it really nice for using this like a family car. You know, it it's not an economical family car at 10 miles a gallon. But not bad. Uh, Taz Mod. Hi, Rusty. That, anyway, I did that. Uh, uh, anyway, Tracy Phillips again. Uh, a little air movement makes a world of difference. Nice tip. Nice tip of the day to you. Thank you. Yeah, they're just moving a little air. Here's Robert Clark. We'll do about three more and then shut her down. Uh, Robert Clark says, Rusty, I'd love to see you film Canyon Lake. I miss it. When we lived in San, when I lived in San Antonio, we used to go there and fish and camp there and Flying K Ranch. Okay, I, I doubt that I'll get to Canyon Lakes. Too close to San Antonio, too busy. WTBM123, cool. James Jackson, you always have great ideals. Uh, ideas, okay. Thank you, James. Here's a, the, well, this is the last one. This is the poem for the day by Dale Pointer. <clears throat> Dale Pointer says, I'll read the poem if I read it correctly. You have your own Nautilus, sailor of land and seas, captain of your fate, as long as you have the keys. Rubber tramp on. Thank you, Dale Pointer. Appreciate your morning poetry. Okay. Uh, anyway, Patty White says, I was reading about the best deal on pizza was at Little Caesar. Caesar. They use the same quality ingredients as all the others, but they have their own shipping company. 
so the cost of shipping their ingredients to all the stores is much less, hence you pay less. All right, well, I may check a little Caesar pizza up one of these days. But having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from Falcon Lake, Texas, this is Rusty saying, Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up, carpe diem, carpe diem, means seize the day in Latin, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos, why, because it doesn't cost you one penny. Yeah, you just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. Amazon takes care of me. Fair deal. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stone. Also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And the only way to really lose weight is form the habit of eating less. And I know that's hard to do. But anyway, having said that, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobe, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which are every thought you have. So common sense, add good ingredients, right? Use your titanium cranium to keep out negativity. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Read it. And uh, that way it's much easier on your mind because you take out the talking heads that are just trying to get you stirred up with a bunch of aggravating crap. Does it work? Yes. And then what else? Uh, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios. What else? Uh, aloha, until noon, I'll post something. Uh, it might be a little later, I'm not sure, it depends on what I have to get to doing and in Roma today, but yeah, but anyway, enjoy your life, enjoy your day, and we'll talk again later. Adios, guys. Carry on. Bye-bye.